Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It is December 8th. It is an A day today. It is an early release day, so there are no lunches today. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll have a great day. Um, and I hope you enjoy the afternoon. It's a nice way to kind of kickstart the weekend. Speaking of the weekend, I heard there's supposed to be um, a, a bunch of rain on Sunday leading into Monday. So who knows? Maybe it'll turn into snow. We don't know. Maybe a little bit of snow before the holidays. All right, folks, we have a number of announcements this morning, so I'm just going to get right to it. Um, first of all, we are still staying strong with our cell phone policy. Um, we continue to have some kids that are... That are um, you know, not following the expectation. As soon as we have a day where everybody follows the expectation, I will be happy to come onto the announcements and say, hey, listen, we can relax a little bit, um, but we're just not there yet. So um, I'm hoping that everybody holds it together. All right. Let's move along to talking about spectators, sports spectators. So I've been talking a little bit about being in good standing. I had a long speech yesterday. I will be sending you an email where if you want to stay after, if you don't want to ever stay after for sports, you don't have to fill this out. But if you're interested in possibly staying after, you have to be in good standing. So you have to complete this email to be reviewed. I will be looking at everybody over the weekend and I will be making sure that fills out the form and I'll be checking to make sure that you are all cleared and set and ready to go for Monday. If not, you're not staying after. Um, we're looking for people to be doing everything they're supposed to be doing to make our school a great place um, so you can have all the fun things out there for middle school. All right, so that'll be in place. Um, today is the last day of T1, which means on Monday you're starting T2. Where does this impact you the most? In your encores, in the encores that are not full year encores. So on Monday, Mr. Kimmick, myself, Ms. Hinson will all be available, Mr. Bohm, to help point you in the right direction. But you should go into your schedule, go into Genesis, check out where you're supposed to be for T2, look at where the location is, and know where you're going. Um, we've had lots of requests from students saying, oh, I don't really want to be in this class. I want to be in this class because my friends are there. Don't ask. Don't because it's not happening. That's not real life. You cannot go to the high school and say like, mm, mid-year, can I just change my class? They're going to look at you and say, what are you, what is going on? So the answer is no. Your schedule's been set. There's a lot of moving parts that go into this, and it is not such an easy thing. Speaking of schedule stuff, if somebody's schedule is changed, it's usually for a really good reason. Like, um, something major has changed and something major has happened and parents are involved, administrations involved, teachers are involved. Um, it could be that it's a behavior thing. It could be all sorts of things. So just assume that we are handling it and it's not just an open free flow for everybody to change classes at all times. Okay. With that being said, um, I'd like to move on to some announcements from our PTO. First of all, we still have the magnets and the awesome croc charms available, $5. You can come down to the main office and um, we will give that to you if you want a magnet or a croc charm. They are still available. Um, and also, our PTO is hosting a food drive for the South Brunswick Food Pantry. Now, about two years ago, our school had the most food collected for the South Brunswick Food Pantry. Um, so this year, we're hoping to do the same. Specifically, they're looking for canned vegetables, canned soup, peanut butter and jelly, pasta, rice, stuffing mix, cereal, individually wrapped packages of chips, popcorn, pretzels, granola bars, or protein bars. Um, we have a box at the main entrance, not this office, but the main entrance. You can drop your items off there. It'll be running from today all the way till next Friday. So let's get as much food in here to give to the South Brunswick Food Pantry. Um, Okay, that takes care of that. I'd also like to thank our holiday shop people, um, our sixth grade friends who have been running the holiday shop. Awesome job. And for those of you who have been supporting it, we really appreciate it. We have raised a lot of money to support South Brunswick families. So thank you to that. All right. Last but not least, I do want to talk and I'm sorry these are long. I do want to talk a little bit about spirit days. We need to get into the holiday spirit. We need to have a little bit of fun. I noticed that the high school has been having a spirit day like every other day. And I was like, wait a second, we got to start doing that. So we are going to be doing two weeks of spirit leading up to the last day before winter break. So listen carefully, because I'm going to give you the spirit days, all of them right now, and then we will have them posted um, for you to reference. But m starting on Monday, Monday will be plaid or flannel day. Um, Tuesday, we're calling tinsel toes, which is going to be holiday sock day. So get out your socks, go 
Go look for some crazy socks, colors, whatever it is. Um, I know a student who's going to have awesome socks. Anyways, Wednesday is going to be Winter Wonderland Day, which is where anything blue, white, snow colors, um, things that you, a snowman, if you want to be a snowman. Mr. Bum was a snowman a couple years ago. All right. Thursday is your a gift. Dress up as a gift. You can put bows, ribbons, whatever it is, gift day. Um, Friday is going to be brighten up day. That is also the day of our patterns assembly. And what I mean by brighten up is, have you seen those holiday lights that you can put on? Go crazy, do what you wanna do, battery pack, fairy lights, whatever you want. Lights abound, brighten up our school on Friday. The following week, just so you can prepare, we will start easy on Monday with Candy Cane Day, red and white, stripes, swirls, whatever. Tuesday is going to be, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch Day. Um, Wednesday is going to be Holiday Hat Day. You're all welcome. Yes, you've been asking me about Hat Day forever since the first day of school. So Holiday Hat Day on Wednesday. Thursday is going to be the ever famous and most popular PJ Day, Pajama Day. And Friday, we will conclude with Ugly Sweater slash Holiday Sweater Day. Some of them are not so ugly. They're actually pretty fun. And we will conclude our Spirit Weeks with that. All right, that was a quick rundown. Pay attention. There will be a flyer coming out. All right, folks, stand for the salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Have an awesome day, Crossroads.